My first Nikon camera was an F2 that I bought in Houston, Texas at a pawn shop. It's a big black camera and it had three lenses. It had an 85 and it had a 24 and a 200. And working with an available light situation, I'm trying to keep the environment natural. The D3S allows you to use the existing light and to basically duplicate what your eye sees. I started out doing very kind of produced and colorful photographs. That was really a significant way for me to come into the magazine. So I focused on that. And after a couple of years of working with them, I started to, to really understand and identify more with a very simple way of taking pictures and really connecting with my subjects from a place which was stripped down and almost empty. It was a wonderful experience working with Misha. He brings a very high level of integrity to the process. It's intimidating in a sense to show up and know that you're going to be scrutinized not only from an artistic place, but also make sure that you, uh, you know what you're doing technically too. I typically use a fixed lens when I'm shooting, but I've found that the quality of the Nikkor lenses works within a zoom situation. A 24 to 70 was mainly what we used on the shoot. One of the challenges that we encountered on this particular assignment was capturing Misha in a low light situation, both with, with stills and with a movie. And I found it pretty remarkable that we could instantly switch back and forth and kind of not lose momentum in terms of our shot lists and our ideas. Once you take the image, once you capture an image, whether it's from a negative or digitally, and it becomes a, a print, and it, and it speaks to other people. I think that's, that's really the, 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 the passionate moment.